Hi guys, my name is Morgan and I'm from The Beauty Breakdown. I'm here to welcome the Maybelline YouTube channel into my home. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys this makeup look which is a neutral glam look with a little bit of gold to it. So you guys want to see how to achieve this look? Keep watching. Okay, so now we are ready to go. I just washed my face, my hands are clean, and my brushes are all clean. No better feeling than clean brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows and I'm going to fill them in, starting with the Tattoo Studio. I use the shade 376 Medium Brown. This is the brow pomade, and I basically just kind of create the shape of my eyebrows using this. Then I go in with my Brow Fast Sculpt. I use the shade 257, also medium brown, and I just run this through my eyebrows really quick. This is just to give the rest of the hairs a little tint and also just kind of keep everything in place. So you can see the difference. This eyebrow is filled in and this one is in. <laughs> can't move that one. Now when it comes to picking a shade for my eyebrows, I usually opt for something that is a shade or two lighter than my natural hair color. I just feel like it blends in better with my natural features. I might be mildly obsessed with this palette. This is the Nudes of New York palette and the reason why I really like this is because I love the shades. I love that I can create a ton of different looks with this and I feel like this is a very universally flattering eyeshadow palette. Starting off, I'm going to use the shade Heroin and I'm just going to blend this into my crease area. This is just going to soften up the look and just make it look effortless. The next shade I'm going to be using is this shade called Inspirer and because I really want this gold to pop, I'm actually going to be applying this with a clean finger and just pack it onto my lid area. You guys will see this is just going to stand out and look so good. Next I'm going to take the shade Founder and I'm going to take a pinched crease brush and I'm just going to apply this into the depths of my crease. The reason that I do this is because it gives my eyes a little bit more dimension and this is where I can kind of manipulate my eye shape a little bit. I kind of want to create a little bit of a cat eye so I'm going to draw it out a little bit past the end of my eye. And with this you can really take your time and build up the color. It's always easier to apply more color. It's always harder to take away color. So gradual is always the key. Now I've got a little bit of that founder shade left on my pinched crease brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and run whatever is left over underneath my eyes to kind of smoke out the look. And again, just draw my eye shape out a little bit. Now last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and deepen the color a little bit on that outer V area. And I'm gonna be using Voyager this shade is honestly one of my favorite shades in this palette because it's just a gorgeous, warm, almost plummy brown color, but it just is really flattering for my eye color. So I kind of like using this in pretty much every single look. And again, tap, tap, tap. Little goes a long way. Smoke it out along my lash line like this. And a little bit in that outer V area. Now I love me a good cat eyeliner, so I'm gonna be using the Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself a nice sharp cat eye. Give it a little shake. <laughs> yeah, gotta make sure <laughs> that they're even. <laughs> Okay, so it's time for mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes first, and then I'm gonna be using the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. <laughs> Makes a big difference. You can see this eye has one coat on, and this eye has nothing on. Now that I've finished my eye makeup, it's time to move on to my face makeup. So I'm gonna be using the Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. I use the shade 35 Nude Beige. And the thing that I really like about this foundation is I have dry skin, so I find that this doesn't stick to any of my dry patches. In fact, it gives my skin that healthy glow that I really love during this time of year. And for a glam look, you definitely want a little bit of dimension on your face, so this is perfect for me. For my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 22 Wheat Blay, and I'm just gonna be hitting the areas that I want a little bit more coverage, or I want a little bit of brightness like underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, center of my forehead, etc, etc. <laughs> <laughs> Big 
the shade of this also matches me so nicely and blends in so well to my undertone since it's got a little bit of yellowiness to it, but not too much. For my cheeks, I'm going to be using the Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush in the shade 20 Rose Flush. And I actually didn't set my foundation because I find that when I use products like this, it just blends in so much more seamlessly and it looks like I'm just naturally flushing. So I just apply a little bit of this onto my whatever I applied my foundation with and I just blend it into the foundation before it sets. Another mild obsession of mine are these Master Chrome Metallic Highlighters. I'm going to be using the shade Molten Rose Gold. And I just take like a little blending brush like this. Just again, pick up a little bit of product, and then I just literally, oh yeah. <laughs> and I also kind of like to put it under my brow bone. Now last but not least, it's time for my lip color, and I'm gonna be using the Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Seek Adventure. I want a little bit of color to my lips, so I'm opting for like a happy pink, <laughs> or so I call it. Oh, they smell so good too. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would wear this look, maybe what your favorite part of this look is. And again, my name is Morgan. I'm from The Beauty Breakdown. And if you wanna check out more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Maybelline YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.